This is a drill. This is a drill. This is a drill. Hi, I'm calling to report several people having trouble breathing and coughing at Dozier Libby Medical High School. And uh, I've got victims uh, in the uh, gymnasium and there's about 20 victims and having uh, trouble breathing. Hi, I'm Maria Duazo with Contra Costa County Health Services and the Hazardous Materials Programs. I'm in charge of the County Hazmat Team. All right, so we reached out to Dozier Libby to see if we would be able to do an exercise with the students here because we know that they're interested in the medical profession. So we were able to integrate Kaiser Hospital, four hazmat response teams, and students at Dozier Libby in a multi-response, multi-unit um, incident to practice what we would do in case a large number of people were impacted by a hazardous materials release. And so we had some very willing volunteers to be able to give our responders live people to work with because a lot of times when we practice, they're mannequins or inflatable dolls or sometimes just cards. And we have to imagine what the victims are like. And this gave the four teams an opportunity to interact with live victims. This is one of the first times all four hazmat teams got together. So one of the captains has explained to me that he didn't know some of the people that he was even working with and what their capabilities were. So this gave us an opportunity to put faces to agencies to see what resources can um, come together for the next time. Um, and so that was one of the challenges that I, that I heard about. In this scenario, we didn't know what caused the problem. So the first thing is life safety. So when we knew we had victims, the first priority is getting the, not, the ambulatory victims, anyone who can walk themselves out with assistance to go ahead and do that first. And then we found out there were non-ambulatory victims who were not responsive. They were the next priority because we had to send people in to pull those people out and then figure out what the problem was so that we can tell the hospitals why they have their signs and symptoms of exposure. So I think the question being how often do we train, I think in our own departments, we have a regular training schedule. We're trying to do these joint trainings on a quarterly basis. And so not a big full scale. We'll probably try to do one or two full scales in a year, but um, we're trying to get together on a quarterly basis. on the ground and people with headaches. They're sheltering in place right now. Nobody knows what they're dealing with yet. And they're in the gym. So um, at this point, we're gonna, I was gonna send them back in in love with Eve because it doesn't sound like it's, uh, it doesn't sound like it's worthy of, definitely not worthy of level A and probably uh, splash injections on
Did you hear uh, an explosion or a pop? Something sounded really loud. Something sounded really loud and then you had your cuffs on your face and you couldn't see anyone? Yeah, I couldn't see. I couldn't see. Who else heard a pop? Did anybody else did anybody smell anything? Nobody smells any weird almond, any different smells, but this smell really gross. Uh, nope. We're going to get you guys to the hospital, okay? Paper okay. change.
Sounds like everybody's so here to transport because we're about at the level of they've been decon as much as we can, strip lift, douse with water. Are you on board with that? Okay. So we're getting to a point where we still don't know where it is. But well we've done all we can. Okay. Hazmat is, um, it really is, I don't want to use the word feast or famine, but um, sometimes we can have a spell where there are no calls and sometimes we can have a spell where there's two or three calls because our, we have a large industrial base. Um, any of our fixed facilities could have a problem. Rail cars could have a problem. Cargo tanks can have a problem. Even as something like a a pool maintenance truck getting into a car accident and uh, bottles of acid and chlorine tablets or um, hypochlorite tablets all over the street. I mean, something, even traffic accidents have hazmat components. And so it could be pretty regular at some times and other times we're like, well, we don't like to say it's quiet, but sometimes it, it, we could go a stretch without having anything. Uh. Our 
our goal is that everyone walked away with something more than they did before they started. 